At my previous job, we went through a phase where we had to become PCI compliant, and there were all sorts of restrictions on there. Um, actually, there was another thing we had to become compliant with as well. Uh, but one of these restrictions was that no server was allowed to be accessed directly from the internet. And uh, uh, VPN was not sufficient to fulfill the requirements. And there's a technical discussion there, but that's not relevant to this video. So the solution that we ended, going, ended up going for was creating what's called a bastion host, which is basically just a server which is uh, sitting accessible from uh, the internet and it can see the servers inside uh, while the public internet cannot. So what you would do is you would SSH to the bastion host and then you would SSH to the host that you want to get to. As you might imagine, this gets fairly tiring fairly quickly as you want to, want to open up another terminal. So I actually integrated this functionality into MASS, so then you could say, well, hey, I want to connect to these 10 servers, and then you just uh, use minus minus term or minus minus the SSH, and it would just figure out which Bastion server it needs to go through to get to which server, and the whole lot would just work, and the user doesn't need to know about any of it. So that's what they're for. Um, defining them. Um, let's quickly look at the documentation first. So if we go here, um, github.com, and we'll go to caseland and slash mass. And if we get into packages available, and then you see simple bastion hosts. I had a much more elaborate design intended, and this was intended just as a stopgap. But it turned out that this is actually plenty feature complete enough that uh, I never ended up uh, having to refactor it. So uh, uh, this is it here. So if we uh, come into the docs inside there, and uh, you'll see we've got all the uh, documentation here um, about uh, yeah how to set it up and how to use it and everything. So let's start with this. We want to go and add a host. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to follow uh, fairly close to this. So we're going to go uh, mass add simple bastion host and what are we going to use there um, I can't think of anything original so we're going to just follow this uh, same pattern here uh, there we go um, so we're going to do that hit enter Okay, now once again, this error is because we haven't uh, defined any others, so if we just quickly go and do it again, and you'll see that error doesn't come up. Cool. So let's just quickly check what that looks like. Have I added two or have I added one? I should have just one. There we go, I have just one. So that is good. So you can see here that uh, this is actually very similar to my previous video where I was uh, talking about uh, manipulations that you can do there and so I've set some very similar things here but the important one for what we're doing right now is this bastion um, example right there so let's head over to our um, example from before and I'm actually going to do the indentation the same way as in the example here because that is actually a better way of doing it the way that I did it here is the way that it used to have to be done because I didn't have the indentation possible at that stage so that is a good point so if we say if we're going by the bastion then our preferred interface has to be the internal interface but that's actually not what I'm uh, wanting to do right now so we'll come into here and we're going to go result set and then we're going to say bastion and we're going to go example so what that is saying is that we are um, we are setting the bastion to be using the example network. So our example network is provided for by Zalapi. So uh, we now need to apply these manipulations. So let's go uh, mass list equals. Um, actually, I'm going to take this a step further. Let's go over here. We're going to take this, um, we're going to take that out of here. Actually, no, we can do it even better this way. So we're going to grab this little fella, like so, and we're going to say, if the host name is K1, then if we, if we want to get to K1, then we have to go through the example bastion host, which is Zalapi. So let's try that. So if we go first, um, we're going to go mass list equals k1. 
I don't have a K1 in there yet, so let's quickly add that. So we're going to go mass help equals create host. So it's K1, it's 102.168.1.91. Ah. It's internal, we'll just say it's K1, and that will be enough for this. It's going to error because I haven't used that collection before. That's fine. Uh, we just need to quickly edit my uh, host file. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so let's just quickly test this. If I go mass list equals K1. Okay, and we have uh, we have a little bit of information there. So now let's go mass K1. Uh, and we're going to go... Uh, minus minus term and this should load up a terminal okay that loads up a terminal that's fine now if we go notice here it's showing you the command that we're using and you see it's just going straight there it's not trying to go via the bastion so now let's go apply manipulations Okay, and we're going to not see any difference at this point, especially if I type it wrong. Manipulations, manipulations. Okay, cool. So there we go. Ah, actually, no, we do see a difference. We see that this is now unknown, so that's fine. So now that that is unknown, we should be able to go term. And notice it's a little bit slower, and if we have a look at why, notice that we are going through Zalapi on the way there. So you can see here we first SSH um, to Zalapi and then we SSH to K1. I think most people probably won't need this functionality but when you have some form of security requirement where you've got to go through a server to get somewhere that's when this would be useful and the cool thing is is that you can uh, selectively apply this. Now there is a little quirk in that the way that cluster SSH works on the Mac versus on uh, Linux um, to get them to both work in a compatible way together I had to do some um, uh, some fairly nasty things to the code which means that um, the assumption is if you are connecting to one environment then all of the servers in that query will be from that environment the impact of that is that so then if a bastion host is chosen for that environment but you've actually selected some hosts from another environment say you've selected some live servers and some dev servers which typically wouldn't have the same bastion host then if it found the live servers first then well hey uh, you're not going to be able to get through to the dev environment or vice versa um, so I didn't find this to be a sufficient inconvenience to actually try and find a solution to it um, if I do in the future then I guess I will but um, it essentially was actually really handy because you didn't go and say you, if you were connecting to the live environment you don't accidentally connect to the dev environment as well uh, and vice versa so it was actually quite handy and it does make me think that maybe I want to make that as a feature at some point so uh, we'll see um, thoughts and questions welcome in the comments um, I'll do my best to answer them and uh, have a good day I do need to add one more thought here actually um, that is just earlier on we did a add simple bastion host um, now in my last company we actually put that into this macro here which meant that it, it asserted that you definitely had the bastion host when you went to create this um, how it should be done now is that it should actually be in an install macro um, so I'm actually going to uh, do a video on how to create one of those it's nice and easy you basically go um, on define uh, register for event and if I remember rightly it is actual comma install general um, and then you just put in your macro name in there um, I'll double check that and then I'll uh, create the video for it but essentially you need to do that so then you assert that you have your bastion host uh, there working and you may as well create it at install time uh, with your repo so then anyone using your repo so you you essentially have a repo set up for um, your particular company so then that sets up all the stuff specific to your company like the bastion hosts and all these manipulations and all that type of stuff hope that makes sense